Well, uh, hello, peoples. Um, I'm here again, and um, I'm just uh, a little bored right now, but um, I just want to show, again, my 1950s uh, Siamese cat lamp right here because um, I haven't shown it in a while, and um, I figured you people could uh, really know what it looks like, you know, because people may not hardly have any of these or may have these or maybe selling one of these, you know. But, um, again, it was, it's a 1950s, it was built back in the 1950s, you know, it's a really cool, beautiful glass, not 100% glass, I don't think, though, maybe it is, but it's beautiful, and, of course, got jewels in the eyes and everything, and, you know, oops, excuse me, and, of course, it's beautiful, yeah, just felt like showing it once again since it's been some time. Yes, these are in fact old cars right here. Let me just maybe move them up a little bit. There we go. And yes. Well, uh, I could tell you all about this one, how I got it, you know, and all that stuff. If I bought it. No, well, last Christmas, um, and my mom got it to me for last Christmas. She gave it to me. For Christmas, but didn't exactly give it to me all on Christmas Day. She gave it to me right past New Year's when we were having Christmas with a friend of ours, you know. And someone up in Kentucky was selling it at their house, and it was online. My mom just bought it off of there and brought it here, and well, not here, brought it to a friend of ours' house. Then we packed it up in a little box with a whole bunch of bubble wrap and stuff to protect it. And then it stayed in the box for a few days, and then I finally took it out, managed to put it up here nice and carefully, and it sits. It has sit here though, and yeah, um, the kitty lamp is pretty amazing. You know, I mean, whenever I look at it, it really brings me to the 1950s and imagines what the 1950s were like. I'm pretty sure if someone used this into a movie. That's set in nineteen fifties. That would be wonderful because I doubt people hardly see any of these around, though. And yes, I would like to show you people something. Let's see, any of y'all may remember. It turns on like that. I'm sorry that was too bright for y'all people, but uh, it's not too bright though. The camera is just uh, maybe just you know, no problem. There we go. And like I said, it almost lights up my whole room. In fact, it does light up my whole room. Such a beautiful looking thing. I mean, I can't thank my mom enough for buying this thing off a line from a house in Kentucky. And whoever was the previous owner of this cat lamp, thank you very much. Because this thing means a lot to me. In fact, my acting career has been going pretty good. I'm still with Acting Out Academy in Birmingham which are moving closer, but I did audition for a showcase back in December, which they could use me for voiceovers. But if I use this thing in a movie or a TV show or anything that's set in the 1950s, woo, I am going to love it like crazy. And this thing is like wonderful. It really makes me imagine what the 1950s were like. Woo. I wish I can go back to the 1950s to see what they were like. And maybe 1960s as well. But, again, I just wanted to show it once again. Because I was just kind of bored and I really wanted to just show it. Because I know you people don't get to see something like this very often. And, yeah. I'm not dimming and brightening the light. camera's just having a little problem. But, well, my iPod camera. But I hope you people enjoyed it, and um, I hope people uh, really like it, and I hope I could use it, maybe, or maybe someone could use something like that in a movie or TV show set in the 1950s. Well, all right, I'll see you people later, and um, maybe you'll see me doing some acting stuff out there. All right, bye-bye, peoples.